Today I'm going to work on getting my SDR Play RSP1 to decode PSK31. The first thing that I'm going to do is go to this VB Audio software web page and download and install their virtual audio driver. From their home page, I'm going to go to Audio Apps and then I'll scroll down and just download and install their driver. Once the download is complete, I'll click on the button down here and then I'm going to double click on this setup application and then because this is a compressed folder it's going to ask if I want to extract this. I'm going to go ahead and extract all to this location and once that's extracted I'm going to double click and run the setup.exe. I have a 64-bit machine but I'm going to use the 32-bit version of the application. I think that should be sufficient for this application. I'm going to allow VB Audio to make changes to my computer. And now I'll simply click Install Driver. And now it's telling me that I could reboot the system if I want to, uh, but I found that I don't need to do that. So I'm going to say OK. And then it's going to pop up this thank you message. I'm going to close that for now. I'm going to close that window as well. Now that I have the driver installed, I'm going to launch SDR Uno. Once SDR Uno is up, I'm going to go to the main window, go to the settings panel, and change my input to the VB Audio Cable option. And I'll close that. Now I'm going to go to the RX window. I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to scroll over to the output tab and I'm going to make sure that this is set to cable input, so VB Audio. So what this does is it directs the audio from SDR Uno to the virtual audio cable. Okay. Next I'm going to launch FL Digi. I'm going to go to the FL Digi settings now, go to the sound card selection. Now I'll make sure that the capture line item is set to the virtual audio cable output and I'll save that. Close that. Now I'll go back to the SDR Uno RX window and make sure that I'm tuned to 14.070 which is the PSK31 frequency on, 20, on the 20 meter handband. Now I'll go to the SDR Uno main page and activate the radio by pushing play and you should be able to see there's some activity in the waterfall there starting up. Now I'm going to go back to FL Digi. Now I'll make sure FL Digi is tuned to 14.070. Once it is, I can look at the waterfall display down here and look for some signals to tune to by simply bringing the mouse over and clicking on a signal. And then up here you can see now I'm receiving the PSK31 signals and they're being decoded by FL Digi.
So it looks like there was a little bit of fading on the signal there that made some of the characters get transposed, but, but everything seems to be working the way that it should. I'll just have to wait for a stronger signal to come through. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. Thanks for watching.